What food isn't worth the effort to be homemade? I made my own chipotle aioli after having a sandwich in a restaurant and loving the sauce, food processor, eggs, oil, seasoning, and some trial and error resulted in a pretty good sauce, and a lot of cleanup. I later learned the restaurant just mixes chipotle powder into Hellman's mayo. Aioli is typically not real aioli in most restaurants. Mayo is just too close of a substitute, and people are turned off by the word mayo. The author of the book Make the Bread, buy the butter combed through dozens of typical foods and determined which ones are worth producing yourself and which should be purchased. Strongly suggested. The book also includes recipes and color commentary, and it's a lot of fun. Is it worth writing my own book or just buying a pre-written one? Filo pastry. Even Paul Hollywood says to just buy it frozen because it's not worth it. I've made homemade ramen fully from scratch. Noodles. The broth. The chasu. Whole nine frickin' yards literally once in my life. Once. Never doing that shoot again. Why does ramen cost 5 plus? Once we made homemade coca-cola. It was amazing to see the absolutely crazy different flavors that go into it and this crazy broth to slowly become such a familiar smell. Came out right on the money. Then we went and bought some cokes. My dad made root beer once. While well, it was delicious. A bunch of the bottles exploded. Fortunately the full bottles were stored in the garage so at least the kitchen remained unscathed. I've had multiple people try and make tater tots. You can't recreate the magic with low effort. Yeah, if I want tater tots and don't have any frozen tots to stick in my air fryer I'm just going to make hash browns. It's not the same, but it's close enough and hash browns are way easier. Crackers. I made them from scratch and it was more trouble than it's worth. This is my number one. Takes a while to make. Seconds to eat. The only crackers I've made that are worth it is a rainforest crisp knockoff because those things are super expensive. Why should I pay zero for pad thai when for five I can buy the ingredients and make a much worse pad thai? I love that tweet. Anything with puff pastry. My aunt was a professional baker for a long time according to her. If you shop at Costco the answer is cheesecake. She was always particularly good at making cheesecake and she fully believes there's no reason to put in the effort because the ones they sell are that good I haven't had her homemade cheesecake in a long time so I can't compare. But those Costco cheesecakes are the bomb. Also, my cat loves to sleep in the lids edit. Cat tax. Cat in lid tax. Please. Croissants. I spent hours trying to make those ones once and the result tasted fine but they weren't croissants. Getting the layered puff pastry right is beyond my skills and it's an absurd amount of work. Now I just buy some if I want some. Edit. People. Please 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 stop suggesting Pillsbury. I'll buy them at a bakery put the ones Pillsbury sells in cans are a crime against. Bakery? A crime anyways. This video is about industrial frozen croissants versus croissants made from scratch by bakers. I've never made it myself but I watched Babish make baked Alaska on his channel and that looked like a real chore for what amounted to a 5 ice cream cake from Baskin Robbins. Edit. So I forgot Babish's baked Alaska was part of his Sims video and not an independent video. So if anyone wanted to watch it here you go. HTTPS colon slash slash. Yautu. BZ4BWB8K7M, T equals 370. Recently my housemate took a shot at a full from scratch baked Alaska. It was absolutely gorgeous. He got the fire on it perfectly and everything. I'm the kind of guy to go all the way in making things myself. Bread, pasta, pizza, burger buns, flour tortillas, sushi, etc all from scratch. Never again am I trying to make mochi ice cream. Hard, long and frustrating. I asked my boyfriend if he thought it would be hard to make the other day. I've been trying to make steamed buns and it's hella hard. Steam a basket. Making the dough. And sometimes it just doesn't come out right. I wish my town had more Vietnamese places. I made cha sui pork buns once and it took ages for something that still came out so crappy. They tasted right but they were so huge and not that beautiful white color. In my local Ascend supermarket I found that I can buy them for £2.50 for 6 For me, anything fried. Deep frying at home takes way I, I too long. And it usually doesn't taste that much better than store bought stuff. Also macarons. Frick those lil guys. They take hours and don't even rise half the time. The effort isn't what makes frying things suck it's the fact that I now smell like a fried thing from standing over it. 
a lot of pasta stuff. I'm thinking specifically of peerages. Homemade tastes better for sure, but maybe like 25% minus 50% better than store bought. However instead of being a meal that takes 15 minutes, it becomes an all day affair with hours and hours of work. 50% better taste for 1200% more effort I sent a good homemade improvement ratio imo. My family makes peerages as a big family tradition. Everybody pitches in and makes them in like 30 minutes. I couldn't imagine doing it alone or with only a couple people. Tamales. As a Texan. Tamales are life. But I never knew why they were so damned expensive. Then I tried to make them. The recipe and ingredients are easy. But assembling the damn things takes 4 arms and 92 fingers. I will happily hand my money to some nice abula for them so I never have to loose my mind with sticky masa ever again. One time my South Asian dad came home from the store the day before Christmas. Sushi. 100%. I can't tell if I am just bad at making it but it will never be as good as sushi from a restaurant. I never get to humble brag. But my girlfriend actually makes a killer sushi. Unfortunately we haven't found a good place for the properly graded raw salmon. So it's mostly veggie rolls or imitation crab or whatever else we can find. Macarons. Update. Damn. Didn't realize macarons were so polarizing. This is the most responses I've ever received for a comment. Face with tears of joy. Mayo and then you watch a freaking 12 year old on YouTube effortlessly make perfect ones and it's just like alright 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 I'll pay the per macaron in store. Anything with odd ingredients you don't use regularly. Buying ingredients for something that you may eat once in a blue moon is rarely worth it. Just get it at a restaurant. Cheese. You ever tried to make decent tasting cheese? 